Hello and welcome to the status report overview of Scargan Global in April. Let's start by taking a look at the highlights for the month. Scargan Global increased by 0.7% during April, outperforming its benchmark by 1.2% on a relative basis. Year to date, the fund's performance is flat, which is 0.2% ahead of the index. One new company was added to the portfolio and we increased our position in another. We reduced the size of our holdings in two companies and the fund currently consists of 103 companies in total. The cash position fell from 2.1 to 1.9%. Valuations of equities generally remain attractive, although some sectors and geographies are now seeing valuations above historic averages. Our portfolio, on the other hand, remains very attractively valued in absolute terms and relative to both the benchmark and the fund's historic average. Now let's take a look at the month's contributors and detractors to performance. China Unicom, a 2.3% position in the fund, was the best performer to absolute performance in April. The Chinese telecom company's share price increased by 18% as it reported better than expected results driven by strong top-line growth and operating leverage. Weatherford was the other standout positive contributor during April. The oil and gas service company, which is a 1.7% position in the fund, announced first quarter results ahead of expectations with good progress in its cost-cutting and divestment programmes. On the negative side, Axo Nobel, a 1.9% position for Scargan Global, was the fund's largest detractor. The Dutch chemical company's share price fell 6% after restructuring costs and adverse currency effects contributed to weaker first quarter earnings. Two Russian holdings, Gazprom and Vimplecom, were the next largest detractors as the wider Russian market was the largest faller during April due to the continued uncertainty in the Ukraine. Now let's take a look at the portfolio activity during the month. Gap was added to the portfolio during April. We think the clothing retailer is about to take the next step in its turnaround by returning to growth after a long period of consolidation and boosting margins through a structural shift in channel mix and supply chain improvements. Although the market has started to recognise the improvements made by the company, we think there is still significant potential and at the current low valuation and projected earnings per share growth in the high single digits, the stock price is inexpensive. AIG, the US insurer, was increased in April. We have continued to use share price weakness in the company this year to buy stock as we believe the company's aggressive investments in systems and people will have a significant effect on costs over the coming three years. On the selling side, ADT was further reduced in April. We see increased risk of our downside scenario of higher competitive pressure leading to increased churn and lower free cash flow playing out. State Bank of India was also reduced in April. The share price has done very well over the past few months, reducing our fundamental upside in the holding. Finally, let's take a quick look at the fund's top 10 holdings, which together represent approximately one third of the total portfolio, and we can see how attractive current valuations are. The companies trade on a weighted forward price earnings multiple of 7.3 times, which is at a 50% discount to the index trading at 14.7 times, and we believe there to be around 39% upside based on our current target prices. That's all for this month. For more information, please visit the Scargan Global section of the Scargan website.